Hello lovely people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Adi Binkwe from Style by Binta and today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful bubble kaftan dress. It's going to be as simple as possible. It's going to also be having cow neck side and it's also going to be having a V-shaped cutout in the center front to beautify the front of the bubble dress. So if you are coming across my video for the first time and you are interested in content like this, please support my channel by subscribing to it. Like this video, turn on your notification button so as for you to get notified when i upload new videos thanks so the first thing i'm going to be doing is to measure the length of the ankara since the length of the ankara fabric is not going to be enough for the length of my clients i went ahead and i turned the length of the ankara fabric to the width of my customer while the width of the ankara fabric becomes the length of my customer so i folded this into four this is what i have so from the center front where there is no opening becomes my center front and where there is opening becomes the side so i went ahead and i input the shoulder to shoulder circumference divided by 2 which is 16 divided by 2 gave me 8 so I went ahead and I measured the sleeve length I want from that 8 which is 9 plus 1 inch fold allowance making so the next thing I did was to come down from that sleeve part down by 10 inches this is going to be for the arm opening so i'm going to be ruling a straight line across the two points both the sleeve length and the folding allowance of the sleeve so i went ahead and i rule a straight line on it so the next thing I did was to impute the nipple point length, which is 14 inches, then the waist length, which is 19.5 inches, then the hip length, which is 27 inches. I initially measured 25, but cross-checking from my daughter, I realized it's 27. So it's very important to measure your client to ascertain the actual hip length. The next thing I did was to rule a straight line on the marker on the point then i went ahead and i labeled it so the next thing i did was also to divide the widest part between these three lines by four plus 3.5 inches the widest part between my boss point my boss circumference with circumference and hip circumference is the hip which is 50 inches so i divided by four it gave me 12.5 then i added 3.5 inches to it this 3.5 inches include my seam allowance which is half inch so the three inches is to make the dress boo boo indeed and also to make me uh to help me form the cow neck side going on at the side so this measurement of 12.5 plus 3.5 inches is what i impute on the three line i impute it on the post point with line and also on the hip line so the next thing i'm going to be doing is from the shoulder line i'm going to be coming down and i'm going to be marking 39 inches this is going to be where the shape for the size is going to be cut out in such a way it's going to enable the cow neck to fall because i'm going to be shaping inwards from this 39 inches so i marked the 39 inches and i'm going to be ruling a straight line on it so on this straight line i'm going to be measuring the hip circumference on it the actual hip, hip circumference divided by four is what i'm going to be measuring on it i'm not going to be adding sewing allowance to it and i'm not going to be adding the excess of three inches to it this is going to be like two inches or one inches away from your nail so the hip circumference should be perfect for that part it won't be tight even if you sew half half inch at both sides it won't be tight it will just be perfect so I went ahead and I blend it and I connected the points together. Also, at the M line, I measure exactly the hip line, the hip circumference divided by four also at the M line and also at the folding allowance at the hem line. So I went ahead and I ruled a straight line on them both. So the next thing I did was to cut it. So when I got to the sleeve opening part, I went ahead and I folded it from the same allowance. Then I folded it, it in and I measured what I had as the sleeve opening back on my fold and i mark it out so i blend it into the side line also so the next thing i'm going to be doing is to work on the neck part so i'm going to be using the width of four inches by the length of 5.5 inches for the neckline the front neckline so i went ahead and i curved it out just as you see me do to form my round neckline so for the back piece i'm going to be coming in by four inches making four by four inches so i went ahead and i blended it in to also form a round neckline so the next thing i did was to cut that of the back then open it up just as you see me do then i went ahead and i cut the front neckline 
So the next thing I did, slit the shoulder part into two in such a way that I'm able to remove the back piece so as I want to work on the front piece. So the next thing I did was to measure the distance between the ape line and the last line I have before my hemline, which is the two inches away from the nail line, which is also 39 inches from the shoulder. So whatever I have there, I divided it into two. What I have in this case was 12 divided by 2 makes sense. So I marked it out. Then I came to the shoulder line. They already cut out the neckline, round neckline side. I measured 1.5 again from that part and I ruled it to meet the point I had made earlier to form a kind of V shape. In this case, case at the shoulder part, you can make it 1 inch. I chose to make it 1.5. So I went ahead and I got, I placed the fabric I'm going to be using to design this front piece beneath my main Ankara fabric and I went ahead and I shaped the neckline just as I have on the Ankara piece I went ahead and I shaped it on the design I'm placing on the front just as you see me do so the next thing I did was to flip it over I had earlier ironed it so as to make it flexible enough to work with so I went and folded it back to that V shaped then I chucked it out just as you see me do so the next thing I did was to remove the Ankara piece from it then I went ahead to add half inch seam allowance to it then I went ahead to cut it out after which I went to the neck part also and I cut it out so this is what I have after cutting it out so i went ahead to hold it down with emmy gum on both sides so this is what i have i placed it on the front piece just to see how it will look so to stitch it together the right side of the design is going to be facing the wrong side of the ankara piece and i'm going to be stitching it together then i'm going to be notching it around so as to make it lay flat then i'm going to be top stitching on the ankara fabric not on the design so I'm going to start from one side, then I'm going to top stitch to the other side. This is what I have after top stitching on the neckline. So to hold this design down to the uh, center of the front piece and to allow it to align well, I have to hold it down either with pin or hemi gum. In this case, I'm using the hemi gum. So I'm going to be pressing it down with iron. So it's going to be laying flat. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is to top stitch on the design on the Ankara piece. So this is what I have after top stitching on it. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is to work on the back piece. So I folded a piece of fabric into two. Then I placed the back piece on it. So I'm going to be chalking out the back neckline and I'm going to be cutting it out. So I went to the shoulder part also. Then I trim it to align with the back piece. So this is what I have. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is to measure around it. I, I don't want to use it like this. It's not like you cannot use it like this, but I want it circled at the edge. So I went ahead and I measured 3.5 inches all around. Then I'm going to be making a round shape with it. So I cut it out. So here is the back neck facing. So I'm going to be holding the uh, edges down so as for it not to be rough. You can as well weave it it's just to keep it neat. The next thing I'm going to be doing is to place the back neckline facing on the actual back piece and I'm going to be facing it right side to right side and I'm, I'm going to be stitching it together. So this is what I have after stitching it together. Then I'm going to proceed to notch it all around. Ensure you're not cutting through your stitch while notching. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is to top stitch. In this case, I'm going to be top stitching on the neckline facing, not on the body of the of the back piece so this is what i have so this is how it looks like the next thing i'm going to be doing is to place the front piece on it so i'm going to be placing it shoulder to shoulder i'm going to be placing it shoulder to shoulder so the next thing i'm going to be doing is to stitch one shoulder at a time so this is how i'm going to be stitching it i'm going to place it together to make a line together then i'm going to be flipping the back neckline facing i'm going to be flipping it to the front piece to cover the front piece just as you see me do so i'm going to be stitching it all the way through so i'm going to be doing the same thing for the other side also the next thing i'm going to be doing is to fold the sleeve part so i'm going to be folding the sleeve part also i'm going to be stitching on it so the next thing i did was to align the sides together front side facing the right side so the next thing I did was to stitch it by half of an inch. I'm going to be following all the cuffs I have there. I'm not going to be stitching it on a straight line. So I'm going to be stitching it out at both sides. So if you want a slit, you can measure. If you want to have a slit by your sides, you can measure 15, 15 inches upward from your M line. It's going to be enough for your slit. So, but if you don't want a slit, this is also perfect for working. So the next thing I did was to fold the M allowance also.
So here comes to the end of the tutorial and this is what it looks like. This is the result. This is, you can see the side cow neck uh, fall, how it's dropping at the sides. Okay, so this is the result and it's very beautiful. So if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please support my channel by subscribing to it. Share this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks.